Welcome to the Rusted Garden Homestead. Today I'm going to show you how to open up the space inside your fruit trees so that you get maximum sunlight in there. If you subscribe, follow me for 2023. I will go over fruit tree pruning. We're going to start with the apple trees and related. And I'm going to break the series down into shorter videos so that you're not overwhelmed with information. And today's all really about opening up the space, getting sunlight into the core, getting sunlight onto the leaves. We'll talk about pruning in future videos. It's September uh, 20th right now. This is the perfect time to get fruit trees into the ground. And I'm going to be filling up my front yard with more fruit trees, really transforming this space into an edible landscape. The tree is still growing. There's still leaves on here. We'll get into pruning when the trees go dormant, and that's going to be the middle of January. So again, follow me, and I'll show you how to do that. So the principle today is really about opening up space in the canopy of your tree. You want maximum sunlight coming down, hitting every leaf, and you also want to have it open inside the canopy so that the sunlight is getting down, penetrating the lower leaves, even hitting the wood. You really want maximum sunshine in there. And there's a couple of ways that you can prune your fruit trees, your apple trees, so that they um, can be managed. One way to do it, it looks similar to this, there has to be a cut made, but this is almost an open vase shape like that. And it's almost where my hand is, is like a cup, and you'd be filling that full of sunlight, airflow, all the good stuff. And it's really a triangle inverted this way. So in order for this to really be that kind of open vase, I would have to remove this branch right here. And then these main branches would thicken up, I would shape them, and they're just gonna keep kind of working their way out this way, inverted triangle. But maximum sun would come in here, get to the fruit tree wood, get to the leaves, and you're gonna get really nice fruit production for your apple trees that way. The other way to do this is to have a main uh, leading central leader that just continues to go up, up, and up, and then you're pruning the top to encourage lower growth, encourage um, fruiting stems, and all that kind of stuff. Future video, I will talk to you about what vegetative growth is, and then I will show you examples of, you know, where the fruit and flowers are going to form. The other way to do it again is you're keeping that central leader going straight up, and it's more of a triangle going out this way, longer base, and then coming straight up and going down this way. And what you want to do is still keep the canopy open. Usually you have the first tier where you have one branch, two branch, three, four, five, it could be three, five, seven, and you want these opened up. So I'm going to show you how to make a um, limb spreader and also how to use string, weight, stake, and open up the canopy. So you have the first tier one branch, two branch, three branch, four branches, and you want these to really be spread out so that you have that open space. And then you usually have a gap in between, and then this might be where you see places where fruit and flowers are good to form. And then you get another round of branches coming out. So you have one, two, three, four, five right here, and we'd want them spread it out like spread out like that. And then the main leader continues up. Pruning again will be in January, and I'm going to want to cut the tops of these to encourage more lateral growth, and we'll talk about that in a future video. Coming over here, there isn't many places that I see places that will really uh, flower and produce fruit. So you would have to make a cut somewhere on here, and that's going to encourage lateral growth, and that's going to encourage uh, fruit buds to come out. So just keep that in mind. But right now, the whole key is sunlight. You want openness in your canopy, either by kind of removing the main leader, doing that inverted vase or cup. Well, I guess it wouldn't inverted triangle, <laughs> but it is vase shape or cup shape. And then this is just a central leader where you're making sure you're pulling out some of these branches and you want them to grow horizontally. Let me show you a cheap way to make limb spacers and how you could tie this down and let this, you know, kind of strengthen up and grow just like that. So you can make your limb spacers pretty cheaply. These are basic shims that you can find at Home Depot or places like that. And it's about, I don't know, seven bucks and there must be uh, 30, 40 shims in there. You would just pull out the shim and I use a pair of old clippers, those are my better ones. And you just clip the 
the sides or the tops and you make a little indentation like that. Sometimes the wood splits so I recommend having a roll of duct tape available and you can just go ahead and tape right around here. And you would do that to both of the ends. I'm also using paint sticks. These are stronger and these give a little bit more support. And you do the same thing. You just clip in a triangle on both sides and you have your spacers ready. So I did a couple different types. This is just a different size shim. If you want, you could put some duct tape in there in case you're concerned that the wood may scratch or damage the branches that you're trying to separate. And the trees that I'm showing you have a lot of new growth, so the bark on there is really soft. So go ahead and just drop on some duct tape and this will cushion the sharpness of, well, the sharpness of the wood from kind of scratching your, your tree or the tree bark. You can have different sizes. You can tape two together with some duct tape if you need something wider and that's going to work. You can also, and in a lot of cases, when you try and put in the limb spacers, they're going to slide, especially on new trees, because the bark is really smooth and these don't really grip in there. So these are used in specific um, situations where you can get a nice kind of um, horizontal kind of spacing like this, or you can, can really connect an upper branch with a lower branch and the weight is pushing in on here and keeping the limb spacer from really moving around. Otherwise, sometimes they slide around. Because of that, you may want to set something up. I like using black polycord and I tie a circle at the end and then this would go around a tree, just like this, for example, through the hole or through the circle and then it's gonna tighten onto the branch that you want to pull down. Because it's loose, if that branch were to kind of expand, it's gonna have room to expand. The other side is gonna be tied to a rock, or you could put a stake in the ground, tie that. I will show you how to do both of these. But these are really being used for the main principle in today's video, and that's opening up the canopy to maximize sunlight coming in, hitting all the leaves, and hitting into the core of the tree, stimulating the tree bark, all that kind of stuff and really maximizing sunlight. Sunlight gives your tree energy, helps the tree produce sugars, will get you beautiful fruit, but you have to maximize the sunlight coming in. So let's go put some of these on, show you how to do that. So here's an example of the tree with the main leader, first tier down there, and I've put in the spacers and they're really secure in there. Now you want to put in the spacers when the trees are green, they're easy to move, they're not going to break or anything like that. And really, probably the spring is the best time to do it, and you want to leave these on for almost a full season, for a full year. So all I did was really identify the branches that I want to push out, and I just want to push them out so that they're growing more hor horizontally. And you just find the right space, and that's going to push this branch out more. And then in here, I'm going to push this branch down and that's going to help kind of, you know, secure these branches so that they become rigid. After they go through a growing period, then they um, go dormant and then they come back again. These branches will stay in place and the canopy is opened up. Now, it's not always easy to find a way to really push out the branch that you want. So you may want to weigh it down and tie the branch to a rock or a stake, just like, well, let's go with this one, where we would pull this one down and we would just tie it to a stake or a rock and it's gonna grow more horizontally. Let me show you how I'm doing that with the other tree. Now, getting a spacer in there was kind of tough. I'm going to just use the polycord and a rock and I'm gonna set this up so that this branch is growing, you know, almost horizontal to the horizon. I'm using black polycord. I like it because it's thick. It's not going to cut into the tree bark. Just a little hoop on the end. You want to find about the middle of the limb that you're going to pull down and just secure it like that. If this were to grow over time and expand, there's enough give here that it's not going to strangle the branch. Next thing we're going to do is get a rock and we're going to use that as our weight to keep the tree limb down in the position we want. We could put a wooden stake in the ground and just tie this to that. So obviously I wouldn't tie it up this high, but you're just going to loop it around the 
the rock and you're going to drop it to the ground. Let me show you how I would do that. These trees, of course, are going in a different place, but here for the example. This is how you open up the canopy using some polycord, a rock, or a stake. Now this could probably be up a little bit more, maybe something like that, but you get the idea. And it's really a way to shape the tree. The first step, of course, is planting your fruit tree. I have a video on that. I will put it in the video description, but it's pretty straightforward. You dig a hole, you know, twice the size of the root ball, loosen the bottom where the root ball is going to sit in the soil to a good four to six inches fill in around it, water it in regularly, the tree should be okay. But here's the example of opening up the canopy using the weighted method. And then here's the example of using, using the limb spacers to open up the canopy. Now you're gonna be doing this on an ongoing basis, pruning your tree, you know, opening up the canopy. So it's an ongoing process. So you don't have to get it right the first time. I just wanted to show you this now because September, fall is a time to really get your fruit trees in the ground. And you could start thinking about how you want to open up the canopy. We'll do the pruning in January when the trees are dormant. And we'll talk more about opening the canopy in early spring. But this is the basic start. Lots of sunlight getting into the canopy. That's, That's going good. to provide maximum sunlight for your tree to have a wonderful fruit production. Thanks for watching. Please check out my seed shop at therustedgarden.com. And these are dwarf fruit trees. These get to, about, to be about eight to 10 feet tall. That's what I recommend for your home garden. They're really easy to manage, really easy to open up the canopy, a lot easier to prune, spray, and take care of. Again, thanks for watching.